Today we're going to go over the DTMS, specifically how to add your training on DTMS. So let's get started. Already have the website up here, DTMS, and then just hit enter live site. So this is the first screen. This is your uh, landing page. It's going to look a little different than mine uh, since I'm seeing the entire battalion. Yours is going to be your station. So one thing, the first step you're going to go to is go to training and go to plan. And it's going to have a drop down and then you schedule an event. And it's going to take you to this page. So obviously event is going to be station training training or whatever it is, company training, uh, audience and leave it as it is, and then you'll put the date. So for this specific training for virtual um, DTMS, it's gonna be April 1st and you'll put the time. So let's do 1300 to 1330. All right, next is you'll put a POC so I'll put you know put phone number on there it's uh, 760 well, whatever number yeah all right and then a training so start trainers so on first class Vargas and you can put your alternate we'll put uh, mass on Hollis and that's it and you hit save once you save it's gonna give you more options so later on, when you go back to here, this is where you access your AAR and you upload your training record under files. So for here, uh, the next thing I normally go to is the tasks. So tasks, you can find keywords on here. So it's gonna get confusing. So you're gonna have this little tiny plus or minus sign. You just click on that and then type in the keyword. So let's say you wanna do uh, telephone prospecting. Telephone prospect and then hit search. And there's a lot of task names on here, it gives you the rest references as well. So, if you notice uh, the task number, if there's seven hour Romeo, then you know it's the right training. So, obviously, you have to still create a training, um, you know, slideshow, whatnot, but this is just to schedule it in DTMS. Um, so for this, you're going to click whichever training you want to do and you add the selected task and you can add more to it. So, for, for example, your your station training is, uh, I don't know, you're going to go over conduct telephone prospecting and then let's say NCOER. You can find it here too. Just add it on there and then you can edit the time. So if your training schedule is from 13 to 1400, you want to do 30 minutes of telephone prospecting and another 30 minutes, whatever training it is, you can change it up here. Okay, so once you add the task, um, let's say you want to um, also print a risk assessment, you can have it here, you can add one, um, but for me, I'll go over the roster. Now, you could only create a roster if you, if you actually add a task, and if you don't add a task, you want to generalize, you just want the training out there, then you, you can't create a roster. However, you can print a sign-in sheet. So on the roster, to add your soldiers on here, you basically just, if you see the plus and minus, click on that one. Now, if you don't put a name here on the search, you just hit search right away. It's going to show every soldier that's attached to, attached to your station. So, that we, so you just click everybody that's, that is going to be on that training, required to be on that training, right? So I'm not gonna do that here. So what I'm gonna do is just look for my name. And then it's gonna show there's two Varguses. So this is me right here and you're gonna add to roster. So for you, since you're in the station, all you wanna do, just, just don't put a name on there. Just hit search, add all your soldiers and then you just created a roster. Once you created a roster, all, this, all the soldiers name is gonna show up here. And then this icon right here, which is Excel, you click that one. Then it's gonna open up in Excel. You print that. It's basically just says name, unit, rank, signature. That's your sign-in roster. So once you're done, then you do you go ahead and do your training. Once you do your training, then you go back here. Now I want to show you because 
it's it, it's kind of difficult to see where the training is. So this is already added, right? So you've done the training, you got your signing roster, now you're head, getting ready to complete your training. So then you'd go to your, uh, I'm sorry, calendar. And then you'll find you have to find that training that we just done, right? So I know it's April first. It's going to be right here. Now the crazy thing is sometimes when you just uh, kind of hover over it, it, just gives you all this information. And if you click on it, nothing happens. What you need to do really is right click on that specific training. It's going to give you more option, and you just go to view event details. And it's going to take you right back here. Okay. So you finish the training. The first thing you want to do is go to task completion. And then you click on the name and the task and hit go or no go. Now, for here, since it's in the future, it's not going to let me do it. So yeah, task for a future event cannot be passed or failed. All right. So by when, when you finish actually training, when you go back here, you'll be able to it go on here so the task is completed next thing you want to do is go to files and then you're basically just going to upload your uh, training roster or record that they signed sign in roster and you type in and you can label it whatever there you go sign in roster and just do uh, telephone prospecting whatever training you've done or it doesn't matter what you put uh, Okay, and content, just a document, and it's going to browse through your uh, computer where you want to upload it from. Okay, once that's done, then the final steps go back to general, and then you do your AR. Obviously, but at this point, you already took down notes after uh, your training was complete about the AR, and you just type in all that stuff. You document it, right? So in the future, you just go back to this training and kind of look at your AR to help you um prepare for your next training um and that you can you can schedule it so that's basically it um what you want to want to do if your battle rhythm is you have stations training once a week um you just create it maybe for an entire month add those training on there and just go back to calendar and then i'm sorry here calendar and then you find that training and you do the same thing okay so uh, if you have any questions you'll email or you can email me but we're going to go over this uh, this this video. This is just for you to view ahead so you have an idea what we're going to be talking about on Wednesday, April 1st.